this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. What I wanted to do is create a sort of introductory video to this new playlist uh, that I'm putting together uh, that I'm calling ASMR Math. Okay. Now, what the videos that are going to be loaded on uh, on this playlist, uh, on the set, on the series, are basically going to be a merger of uh, what I've been doing with my ASMR videos and what I've been doing with uh, the math videos that I've been producing. So it's sort of a marriage, uh, sort of an integration of these uh, two different concepts, right? As uh, for what ASMR is, ASMR stands for Autonomous Meridian Sensory Response. And it's, um, it's something that I got introduced to about three years ago, a couple of years ago, uh, where I read an article uh, on ASMR and there was videos uh, linked in that article and I clicked on one of the videos and um, what I was watching uh, was fantastic and it was very familiar to me, uh, but I wasn't really sure uh, what it was that I was seeing, what it was that I was reading. Uh, so I found a, a, a forum and I went on to the forum and I asked them a question because previous Previous to reading this article on ASMR, um, I've been producing um, beard videos, and if you've been following my channel, you'll know I, I like facial hair, and I've produced some um, just beard videos sharing what I do with my beard and what what my uh, philosophy, what my belief uh, on facial hair is, and why I grow beards and how I enjoy beards, right? And two of the videos that I had produced for the beard playlist was basically me uh, combing my beard and I went to the forum um, on the ASMR forum and I asked them if they considered this to be ASMR because uh, the sensations that I feel uh, when I do when I have a full beard when I comb my beard were, were basically almost identical to what the ASMR articles were saying or what the ASMR article was saying with the videos that I was watching um, were giving me and you know i basically asked the forum if uh, they considered these two videos to be asmr and if they did i had more footage um, from these two sessions that i could cut and make an extended version of those two videos and um, everyone in the forum by by far and large uh, they loved the videos and they did consider that stuff to be asmr um, so i went back and re-edited the videos and put out extended versions of the two beard videos that I produce and that sort of kicked off the ASMR playlist, the ASMR work that I do. And after that, uh, you know, since then we've put out a whole bunch of videos on um, pomegranates, uh, put some videos together on backgammon, me and my grandmother playing backgammon, um, put a whole bunch of videos recently together on uh, comic books that have a serious ASMR slant to them, right? And uh, I ended up producing a couple of videos specifically uh, that I called ASMR Math, okay. And after putting those videos together, uh, I got a fair bit of comments, and actually before that too, uh, there were some comments coming, coming my way when people noticed that I was producing ASMR videos, uh, asking me that uh, I should start producing ASMR Math videos, and that hadn't really occurred to me because um, if you've been following my math videos, and I have approximately about 200 math videos up on my on my site uh, that are divided into two different uh, two different categories. One of them is called the language of mathematics, and uh, the videos in the language of mathematics are basically teaching the syntax of the language of math, right? And the the other section, the other playlist, is uh, called math in real life, which is basically taking the syntax of the language of mathematics and using it in the real, real world. And, and the reason I've, uh, I've decided to start this, uh, this set, this series, this playlist, to merge the, merge the ASMR work with the mathematics work that I'm doing, um, was specifically related to a comment that was posted uh, on one of the math videos that I put out where I was sort of just uh, showing you how uh, the two hand tricks that I knew right and the comment basically stated that um, the person would get math anxiety when trying to learn math so she would shut all the doors to the information coming in and would find it really hard to learn math and by watching those two videos I just two simple hand tricks 
uh, because they were sort of ASMR centric, uh, they had an ASMR slant to them, she was able to relax and allow the information to sink in. And she learned um, those tricks. She learned that, that concept right away. And that really pleased me because uh, my main thing is uh, I really want to teach math. I want mathematics to become more prevalent within our society. And if you've been following my site, you know that my work is very math centric. Uh, so after reading that comment, uh, the idea started bouncing around in my head, um, thinking about how I can produce, how I can merge uh, ASMR and mathematics together. And um, basically, uh, for me, ASMR is very intimate. Um, it's, it, it's calming, it's relaxing. And that's not really the way I uh, teach uh, mathematics, what I've done with the language of mathematics and math in real life, right? Uh, so I had to look at it from a different perspective and I've decided uh, to make these videos in more of an intimate, intimate fashion, in more of a way that I do mathematics myself instead of teach mathematics. Because when I, when I do teach math, I get really excited because uh, for me it, it is exciting teaching mathematics and seeing the reaction from the people that you're teaching at and light bulbs going off and you can see the, the machine churning in their brains, right? But when I do math myself, uh, I, I really do calm down. I sit down and if it's a new concept that I'm learning, I sit there and you know read and do a little bit practice a little bit or if it's just me just straight up practicing some of the techniques that i know i sit there and you know just practice you know it calms me down right it lets my mind wander uh and you know sometimes i sit there and just look into the look into the horizon or look into space and you know let let the mathematics flow and think about different ways uh, that I can make videos for the language of mathematics and math in real life and how I'm going to present an idea, right? So personally, when I do math, uh, it is sort of ASMR-ish to a certain degree because it does tickle my brain, it does, it does put a smile on my face, it does calm me down. And that's sort of something I've learned uh, to do with time, with age, right? I've learned to calm myself down because I function in, you know, in with most of us anyway, it's a very chaotic world that we function. There's a lot of information coming our way and we do need to be able to relax and, and meditate to a certain degree and let the mind wander. And mathematics is one of the things that I do for that, right? One of the, one of the things that is part of my life that allows me to achieve that state right along with eating pomegranates and playing backgammon and, and a myriad of other things that i do right um so that's sort of what this playlist is going to be about it's sort of a merger of asmr and mathematics and and just a heads up for those of you who've been following me for the math videos as you know i sort of spun off uh, the math content on chicho into two separate sites one of them is called mathinreallife.com and the material on that on that site on that channel is basically uh, just the math content that i that i produce uh, that, that i work on and it's me putting filter on myself and trying to remove my biases so i basically i don't want my biases my belief to interfere with people trying to access that information and learn mathematics right because for me it's really important that math becomes more prevalent within our society so i sort of try to remove uh, my personal uh, beliefs from the content and just present the math information may it be through the language of mathematics or math in real life so if you're only interested in the math content, uh, math material that I'm producing, uh, that's the site you wanna be in and that's the channel you wanna follow, okay? The other site that I've spun off uh, related to the mathematics is basically uh, uh, mirroring everything that I'm doing on math in real life, uh, on mathinreallife.com and all the math content that I'm producing but it's also geared towards supporting organizations that are working towards ending prohibition. That's because that's something that's dear to my heart, right? Uh, so if you're okay with the math content and supporting organizations that are working towards ending prohibition, uh, 420 Math is 
uh, where you want to be at. And I do explain why I'm sort of an advocate uh, uh, of ending prohibition. I sort of why it's dear to my heart and why I think it's important that the war on drugs ends, right? Or prohibition in general ends, really. Um, and if you're okay with everything that I produce, um, may it be the math videos, the ASMR videos, the food, the music, whatever it is, if you're okay with all of my content, then uh, Chicho is where you want to be, okay? And uh, that's where we are, sort of, um, that's what this playlist is going to be about, that's what, that's what these videos are going to be about, uh, it's sort of uh, teaching mathematics with an ASMR slant. And it's going to be more intimate than I've, what I've been producing with the language of mathematics and math in real life because it's going to be more chilled, more the way that I do math myself instead of me specifically teaching it and um, putting the stuff together in a way that I think uh, is, is people are able to absorb as quickly as possible from the way that I've learned to teach my students personally, right? Uh, so these are going to be a little bit more intimate. The videos most likely are going to be much longer in duration than what's presented on math in real life and the language of mathematics. And um, and I'm not, you know, it's, it's not going to really follow uh, a specific pattern because for math in real life and the language of mathematics, what I've done is started off with the real number set and I'm sort of building it from there, right? And the plan is to create enough content, enough modules to cover all of high school mathematics from the real number set all the way up to an introductory course in calculus and one for probability and statistics. And as you can guess, it's gonna be a very long project um, and it's gonna take me a long time to do this, right? And hopefully by the time we get all of that done, we would have created a a lot of content for ASMR math and who knows maybe at some point we'll catch up to the content for the language of mathematics and math in real life and sort of spin off an ASMR math series uh, specifically modules that also cover all of high school mathematics um, from the real number set all the way up to a module on calculus and one for probability and statistics right um, but the, the information right now is going to come to you sort of in chunks. I'm going to be jumping all over the place in the high school, high school curriculum. Okay. And um, after thinking about it for a while, uh, the series that I decided to start with, uh, the, uh, the topic that I started to decide uh, to start with is going to be trigonometry. So that's the topic that we're going to start off with. And there's going to be, you know, just a handful of videos. Hopefully um, uh, we'll be able to cover most of the information in trig, may it be trig ratios, trig functions, and trig identities, right? And we'll pick a certain topic and start it from beginning and take it all the way to the end or to a good ending point where we can kick off to another topic that's related to that, right? So these videos will be extended and uh, hopefully by the time we're, we're done, we would have covered most of trigonometry, okay? As for the one, uh, the, the series that's gonna follow trigonometry, um, I think it's going to be logs because it's something that I do love teaching just as much as trigonometry and logs is another thing, another um, topic that really gives people problems in grade 12, that's when it's taught in my area anyway and hopefully we can create a set of videos for logs as well and uh, and cover that topic as well and get people over some hurdles that they might be encountering in high school okay and um, that's about it uh, i hope you enjoy um, and if you have any recommendations comments or any specific topics you want covered uh, send me a message and i'll try to slip them in there okay and again, this is going to be an extended uh, and open playlist. And hopefully we'll be doing this for a long time to come. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.